for the next topic, percentage of investment, where it usually involves simple and compound interest calculation. So for the first question here, we have a couple of keywords. Okay, we have the current pricing, we have an increase of 40% and from previous year. So from this, immediately we know that they are looking for the previous year's amount. Okay, so our previous year price multiplied by the percentage. Okay, equals to our current price, which is our new price here. Okay, so let's fill up the blank. Okay, the first thing that we know is our original price is a unknown. Okay, and the percentage changes is actually 140% because 100% is the original price, 40% is the increase. Okay, so unknown times 140% equals to the current price or the new price which goes by 5243 so for you to identify the previous year pricing simply shift the 140 percent to the other side okay divide it then you will get 3745 whereby for question two the membership price of 3684 is expected to be lowered by 15% next month due to decreases in demand. So try to find the new pricing. Okay, as usual, the original price we place it at the front. Okay, multiply by the percentage, can you get the new price? So our original price here will be 3684. Okay, and the percentage will be 100 minus 15, which is 85%. Then you will get the new pricing. So by running the calculation, your new price should be 3131.40 cents. For next part, this one looks more like what will be assessed in your exam. So let's see what are the information we have here. John invested his saving that amounts to 10,000 into a mutual fund. Okay, the rate of return is 4% per annum. Find the return of this investment if he were to invest for five years. So the key things here is that they didn't mention about the keywords, exponential, okay so which directly indicates that this is a simple interest question so for simple interest the formulas goes by capital multiplied by the time multiplied by the rate equals to return on investment so let's run the calculation 10,000 multiplied by five years multiplied by four percent you should get 2000 as the return return is also considered as interest earned okay moving on to the next question dixon investment generated 900 from his capital of 8000 within four years find the rate of return of this investment per annum okay so let's run the calculation so we have 8,000 times 4 years times unknown percent equals to 900, okay? So we shift the 8,000 times 4 to the other side where it becomes divide. Then multiply it by 100 to convert into percentage. So you should get 2.8125 as the results. And if you were to round up into three significant figures, you should get 2.81%. Moving on to the next one where it involves compound interest. Okay, John invested his savings of 10,000 into a growth fund. This fund provides a 5% compound interest per annum. Okay, find the return of this deal after he invested for 
five years. So key things to take note is that if you were to use the compound interest formula, the results that you've gotten out of the equation will actually be capital plus return, okay, which in other term it is called value of the investment. So after you run the calculation, you're actually required to minus the capital from the calculation to identify the return or to identify the interest earned. So the 10,000 multiplied by 104% to the power of 5, you should get around 12,166.53. Okay, and for you to find the return, simply take this result minus by 10,000. Okay, you should earn around 2,166.53 as the interest. So the other question goes by Sam, high risk growth fund is not performing and his investments suffer a 4% exponential decrease. Okay, find the losses of his 10,000 investment after two years. So let's fill up the information. If it goes by 10,000 multiply 96% to the power of two, equals to 9,216. So to, for you to find the losses, simply take 10,000 minus by the results, you should get 784. The next one is Jason purchased 10,000 worth of IBM stocks. The return of the stocks grew exponentially and he received 3,000 worth of return in 4 years. Okay, find the compound interest earned by Jason. So let's fill up the information. 10,000 multiplied by 100% plus unknown percent to the power of 4. Okay, equals to 13,000. Okay, because the return itself is 3,000 and the capital invested is 10,000. So the total value of investment which is 13,000 now. So take the 13,000 divide by 10,000 and then you put a 4 root onto it okay, and minus 1. Okay, The 1 there is actually representing the 100% when we shift it to the other side. Okay, then change into percentage by multiplying by 100. So it should be around 6.78% per, per annum. So that's it for percentage topic. So key things to remember is for simple interest calculation, it's straightforward. All you need to do is take the capital, multiply by the years, multiply by the rate of return. Okay, and the results of it will actually be the interest earned or return from the investment. However, for compound interest, when you take the capital multiplied by the percentage to the power of years, your end results would actually be value of the investment. And for you to find the exact interest earned, please remember to take the value of investment that you calculated minus by its capital. Then you'll be able to identify the interest earned or loss.